cheese in your glasses. Nice. Hello, Anna. Um, what did you make of your first Premier League game and um, uh, what did you make of your We as a team made a big change at half time because we came out totally different than we came out the first half. But uh, I have to give credit to Ipswich as well because I think they were aggressive, they were not afraid, they were uh, playing all over the pitch 1v1 to defend us. And then it's about winning your duels and winning your second balls and I think um, they won more than us and that's why it was absolutely an equal game in the first half. But second half we won more duels, uh, we won more second balls and we played more balls in behind because if the other team's team take the risk of playing 1v1 and you have the likes of uh, Luis Diaz, Mo Salah and uh, Diogo Jota. Then use them, play the balls in behind, that's what we did better the second half and from there on gaps opened up and you could see also how, how good and well we could play in ball possession. But, I mean, Mo Salah's got this record now of nine, no one scored more goals in the opening match. Okay. It's hard to think he's going to be out of contract at the end of the season. He doesn't look like he's a player in four or five years at this point. Uh, if I see what he does to keep his body as it is and to be ready to play every every game, I think there's there are many more years inside of him to play. But uh, if if you're okay with it, I'm looking now at Brentford and not at uh, the end of uh, the season. Sorry, uh, Anna, you, you seem to be suggesting you've gone to TV that you're unhappy with the uh, the, the balls that your your team were losing in the first half. Were you, were you quite forceful at half time in the message that you delivered to the players? No, not so much that we lose the balls too much. I think we lost far too many duels. So uh, they were uh, very aggressive. That also led to three yellow cards, um, but in a good way, aggressive. So uh, and uh, we didn't cope with that well enough, in my opinion. So that's what I said to them at half time. If you want to win over here, you need to to go a step up in terms of winning your duels first and 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 make it a fight out of it instead of accepting that they every time we play a ball long that the ball ends up in our 16 again, and um, that was um, it helped us I think as well that uh, Ibu uh, Konate came in because he uh, from the start won his duels from the number nine, and that gave us uh, also um, a lot of ball possession and and that led to two goals which we could have scored a few more now. Um, there's been a lot of talk about the defensive midfield position, but I thought Ryan was excellent in there today. Arnold, what, what did you make of him in that position today? For me, it's all always about the team. So if an individual performance is really good, that is because the team does really well. So um, everybody uh, is emphasizing on the goal Mo scored and the assist he had, but both goals were from a build-up situation where we started uh, one time with Virgil and the other time, I think, even with Allison. So we need to make sure that these players, the attackers, come in, in, in promising positions and the team needs to help them for that. And it's the same with Ryan. If, Of course, Ryan is attacking-minded. Uh, but if, if, we want, if we play with him, the rest of the team needs to help him as well. So it takes a lot of effort for the, for the, for the attackers and for the attacking midfielders to help him there. But what we do know with Ryan is that he can play the ball forward if he sees options to do so. So that uh, helped us today, especially in the second half. Now, when I started here, there were many things that have been told to me, but one of them was that Jürgen hated the 12.30 kickoff. <laughs> and today the team showed that we hated the, the team, uh, the, the 12.30 kickoff, because we were not in the game in the first half. And the second thing is what people told me is that there are no easy games in the Premier League, and we saw that today uh, if you play against a newly promoted uh, team. And they can make such a fight out of it the, as they did in the first half. They make, can make it so difficult for us. And then there's probably a lot more to come and that's why it's also important for us to have weeks like the upcoming ones where we can work with the team to prepare them even better than we prepared them today because uh, first half was not good enough, second half was uh, a real good performance. We'll get through the last couple of quicks we can. Um, just to get one. Defending we do with 11, we don't do this with one player, um, so he needs to have, um, we need to help him 
as all the others in in the position where he's playing in or where anyone else is playing in. So it's not that only Virgil and Ibu or only Virgil and Jurel are defending. The whole team have to do so. And if we defend with eleven, and that would help Ryan or whoever is playing there a lot because um, last season Maka played there a lot, and I think he has certain qualities that Ryan has as well. I think if, if you look at both players, the first thing you think of is with the ball in ball possession. And um, that's why we as a team uh, have to make sure that um, whoever is playing in that position is not too exposed. And um, that's what happened today because I think the team really helped uh, to defend in, in, in the best possible way. And, and, and because of that, Ryan had a good performance. Johnny, then last one here. Yeah, I don't think for the Liverpool support it's the first time in nine years that they saw the team playing really well. So uh, I inherited a very, very good team with a lot of great individuals. But also these players have to understand that it's not enough what they brought in the first half. And um, if they bring the maximum of their cap capacity, then they can play really, really good. And that's what they showed in the second half uh, today. But... Um, it was good to see that uh, the goals we scored, but I think the, the attack that would uh, probably be a match of the day uh, tonight as well, uh, that didn't lead to a goal was the nicest one, and that was the one Lucio just uh, hit over the bar. And that was a that was a way I want to see the team doing more and more and more and more if they can. Finally. Uh, the way that the other team defends, that, that th there we have to find our answer. And today, Ipswich took the risk to play 1v1 all over the pitch, so their centre back always stepped in towards uh, Dominic Sobosly. That means that you leave three defenders against three strikers, three of our attackers. And then we, we need to recognise those moments and then make sure that we bring those three players in dangerous situations. And that's then not. To, to, to keep playing short, then we have to find them with direct passes or passes in behind. And that led to the fact that they didn't take that risk anymore. And from that moment on, we had a lot of time to play and to do our build-up, which you saw the second half, uh, so uh, in the end of the second half. So we have to recognize how the other team is defending, and then we have to find our answer. And um, that's what we did really well in the second half. Thank you, everyone.